I've been seeing a lot of people posting conspiracy theories that the Katy Perry Blue Origin flight was actually done in a soundstage. It wasn't actually on a rocket. And this is kind of one of the ones I'm seeing everywhere, the Van Allen belts. People say this like it ends every argument that spaceflight can't be real. So let's explain the Van Allen belts again. You can think of the Van Allen belts as two kind of nested donuts encircling the Earth. The inner one goes from about 310 miles to 3,500 miles, or 500 kilometers to 5,500 kilometers. The outer Van Allen belt starts at 75,000 miles and goes all the way to 13,670, or 12,000 kilometers to 22,000 kilometers. The Van Allen belts sound super scary because they are full of radiation, basically trapped particles coming from the sun. One of the important things to remember is that they are not uniformly dense. Our magnetic field comes out of the magnetic north and south poles of our planet, which are actually offset from the geographic north and south because the axis of our planet is tilted. So not only is there less radiation at these spots over the poles, the charged particles are not like tightly packed in anywhere in the Van Allen belts. The particles are rare enough that you can put a satellite in orbit in a Van Allen belt and it will affect the satellite, but it's not going to just completely destroy the electronics the second it gets there. And don't forget that spacecraft and satellites always have some kind of radiation shielding to protect them from that radiation. So what about the Blue Origin flight? Remember, that inner belt starts at about 310 miles or 500 kilometers. That Blue Origin flight hit 62 miles or 100 kilometers. The International Space Station orbits at about 250 miles or 400 kilometers. Most of the missions that you hear about do not interact with the Van Allen belts at all. So you can stop saying the Van Allen belts like it's clear proof that spaceflight isn't real.